Fish, the Highland Cow. It was springtime in the glen. All the animals were putting and cleaning their spring coats. All except Hamish, the Highland Cow. Hamish never groomed his long tangly coat. He hated having baths and he certainly never ever let anyone cut his hair. Hamish's hair was so long that he could always see he couldn't always see through it. It was so naughty and tangly that things lived in it. It was so sticky with toffee that everything stuck to it. You see, Hamish loved eating toffee, sticky, gooey, chewy toffee, but and the perfect place to keep his toffee treats was in his long, tangly coat. But the other animals had had enough of Hamish's stinky, dirty, and matted hair. It's time you had a haircut, Hamish said the cat. What? cried Hamish. A haircut? Never. We'll give you a big surprise, said Rabbit. Now Hamish loved surprises. Hmm, he thought. What if the surprise was a never-ending supply of toffee? Hmm, maybe a wee trim, he said to his friends. So the next morning, the animals and a very nervous Hamish set off to the hairdressers. It wasn't far, and before long they had arrived, Hamish slowly peered through the salon doors. What a sight! There were pink sheep, blue sheep, stripy sheep, a polka dot sheep. There were sheep with long, bad hair. There was a sheep with big hair, short hair, long hair and curly whirly hair. And there, in the middle of them all, snipping and clipping away, was the hairdresser. Hamish hadn't realised that the hairdressers could be so much fun. There was lots of books to read and great things to play with. Smelly things, spray things and the big chair that went up and down and round and round. Then, Mr Hamish, said the hairdresser, what will it be today, sir? Hamish still felt a bit nervous, but he took a deep breath. A, a, a wee trim, please, he said. The hairdresser set to work on Hamish's coat. With a snippety snip and a clippity clip, the scissors whizzed over Hamish's long tangly coat. It didn't hurt at all. What do you think, Mr Hamish? asked the hairdresser. Hamish looked in the mirror. Groovy, he beamed. All the other animals agreed and the hairdresser even gave Hamish lots of toffees for being so brave. But Hamish looked sad. I've got nowhere to keep them, he said. Surprise, shouts his friends. They gave Hamish a very special bag to put all his yummy toffee in. Hamish was delighted. He popped his toffees in his bag and set off home with his friends. Now you're the coolest cow in the highlands, said the animals, giving Hamish a huge hug. Don't mess up my hair, said a very smart and sweet-smelling Hamish. The end.